We're here at the uh, reopening of Mickey's Toontown at Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Uh, they've redone the whole land, remodeled, refurbished, reimagined, whatever term you want to use. And, and uh, obviously with that, they've also reimagined the food. And so they've done away with a lot of the, the former eateries. And in place of that, we have Daisy's Diner, Good Boy Grocers. And we're going to take you through everything that's available on the menu at both those locations, starting with, since we're sitting here outside of Daisy's Diner, we'll start with that. And uh, right now you're looking at a shot of all that food. Um, but let's get started. Um, I want to quickly say lunch and dinner will be served uh, 11 to 8, fireworks permitting on that close time. And then after fireworks, they'll come back for what they call the late night dining, which will be basically the drinks and the goody goody donuts, which we have here. Uh, but we are here for lunch. It's early in the day. We're here for lunch. Uh, let's let's try some things. Let's start with these. These were a big deal. These these pizza flop overs. Uh, so basically, it's a pizza folded in half, which I guess makes it a sandwich. I guess that's how that works. Um, and so the pepperoni pizza flop over, ten forty nine. It's pepperoni mozzarella provolone with tomato sauce. That's this one right here. The, the Bronx, New York Italian in me is not digging this one. Let's see. By the way, this background music loop is amazing. Uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, three caballeros. Nothing can stop us now. Only it's sort of like soft. I don't know what musical style to say it is, but like a lot of flute, very soft, kind of like preschool. Acoustic instrument. Acoustic, instruments. yeah. Very soft preschool, you know, safe environment music. It's it's great. I love it. Um, what about the pizza? I don't know if I can say that for the pizza. You know, it's not it's not the worst counter service pizza. It's definitely better than like pizza Rizzo and those. Um, I probably prefer Alien Pizza Planet, honestly. Um, there's nothing. There's nothing terribly wrong with it, right? The dough is soft and fresh. Um, I think they overdid it with the, this Parmesan tossed on top. It's just, it's kind of overpowering. Um, so I'm left with, in the seasoning there, I'm left with this this burning, zesty aftertaste oh. uh, from this. But the pe pepperoni's fine, the cheese is fine. I don't really know what to say, but everything about it's just adequate. It's adequate. If you're a parent and you're here with your kids and you just want to grab something quick on the go, and, and that's the whole idea with all this. It's all handheld food. Um, it's it's fun. Again, I wouldn't I wouldn't run here to have it again. The pepperoni's got a nice bit of spice to it, though. The pepperoni's actually pretty good. I like the pepperoni. It's probably the same as Alien Pizza kind of. It's a nice hefty thing for for the price you'll be full. It's it's very hefty. It's a lot of dough. It's gonna be very filling. I'll say that one. Um, then there's the cheesy pizza one, which is just gonna be mozzarella and provolone uh, with tomato sauce. There we go. Look at all that cheese. Look at that. So I feel like, and this again could just be a first day thing, I feel like there's way more cheese on that one. Um, and I mean, it is the cheesy one, so that makes sense. But usually when there's a variation, right, it's usually we have the plain version of the pizza and then we have it top. These are actually kind of different in that there is, I feel like there's way more cheese on that and it actually works better. Hmm. That being said, the, now that I've had more of the marinara sauce, it's, I'm, I'm real hard on fast food and theme park pizza. And this is a, it's not a great red sauce. It's real low quality. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna sign off on these, but I'm sure other people will. Um, they're fine, they're adequate. Let's move on. All right, let's wash down those flop overs. <laughs> what, what uh, with something to drink. That's literally the name of the category on the menu. Something to drink. Uh, drinks for drinking. Uh, picnic. <laughs> picnic. That's a deep cut if anyone gets that. Picnic time watermelon lemonade. It's Minute Maid Zero Sugar Lemonade with watermelon premium premium syrup and watermelon gummies. So those are gummies down there. Let's try it. 
That's nice. It's it is on the. It's very sweet. It's very sweet, but it's not. Even though it is syrup in there, it's not. They didn't overdo it with it, so it's not syrupy sweet. It's just sweet. It's, you, you taste the sugar for sure, um, but it has a good, nice, strong watermelon flavor. We can absolutely taste like that artificial watermelon. Um, super refreshing, I think. And um, I don't know how the gummies are going to taste. We have to scoop them out, but I assume they taste like watermelon gummies would be my assumption. Yum. But um, <laughs> it's a good, refreshing option. I'm on, I'm on board with this one. Uh, let's try Granny, Granny Goof. Granny. Granny Goof's Garden Sweet Tea. It's Gold Peak Sweet Iced Tea, the official iced tea of Disney Parks. Uh, with honey <laughs> mango premium syrup and mango flavor filled spheres. We're not calling them bulb anymore, they're spheres. Like a grand and miraculous sphere. Aww. Uh oh. I'm gonna give that a stir. <laughs> Why is there alcohol in it? No. <laughs> I just feel like maybe stuff settled or maybe I'm wrong. It did settle a little bit. Um, what is in the spheres? Mango. It is. The mango is. I think the mango just put me into a sugar. It was so tart and sweet. Oh, it's so good. I love um, mango and it's delicious. See, I'm not the audience for this drink. I also don't like iced tea really, so. Um, so you like it? What do I you like think it. About? Well, I mean, it's it's a boba, so that mango taste explodes in your mouth quite literally. I think maybe um, I had too much boba at one sip. It's very sweet again. I think I had like eight, of, eight, eight or ten of them in one sip. Lucky. And it like threw me for a loop. But you like this? Different type of refreshing, right? These are both hot weather refreshing I'm, beverages. I'm on board yeah. with both. But you see, you signed off on this one, so everyone, will, everyone you might want to just try both and see what you like better. And then uh, last on the things to drink, uh, something to drink, is the specialty called Burr Excuse uh, you. Burr uh, Joffrey's Coffee Caramel Mudslide Cold Brew, Ooh. Sea Salt Caramel Toffee Sauce, Top with whipped cream. Ooh. So this is a good morning drink then. There's coffee. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this. I love it. Um, I like Joffrey's coffee. I know a lot of people are like, they're like, I need Starbucks. I like Joffrey's. This is a particularly good blend. It's very strong. It's on the strong side. Uh, but you get that toffee on the back end, a little bit, just a hint of toffee. It's so perfectly balanced, and and you definitely get that mudslide, that like mocha mudslide. So like a little bit of mocha, a little bit of toffee, and then a, a, a strong coffee. So somewhere between black coffee and slightly sweetened, I would it's say. It's robust. It's a robust drink. From the intensity yeah. of the, the cold brew to the sweetness. I want that every morning. This is this is phenomenal. I love this. Kids, if you gotta watch your kids play all over Toontown, this is gonna give you the energy. The energy, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's finish off Daisy's Diner. Uh, we did get one item from the kids menu. We got corn dog nuggets, just because we figured this is gonna be pretty popular. These are Minnie's Mini Corn Dog Nuggets. Uh, Mini Corn Dogs, excuse me, official name, but that's what they are. Uh, and they are they do come with a Cutie's Mandarin Orange, Applesauce, and a choice of small beverage. Um, so we got a, what did we get, a Go-Go, what, what, what came with, a Go-Go Squeeze is the applesauce, right? So the Mandarin Orange, the Go-Go Squeeze, and a small water, you get all that uh, for $7.99. Kids will love it, I mean. About adults? Probably, I mean, they're, <laughs> they're salty, fried, Corn dogs. Awesome. Um, yeah, no, they're not as good as the Magic Kingdom ones, but they don't. They also don't need to be. They're good enough. There's nothing wrong with them. Like hot dogs, well cooked. There's enough batter on the exterior. Very salty. Super salty. Um, they hit the spot. Hit the spot. All right. Uh, next up, uh, we got for for grown-ups. They call this part of the menu. Uh, going back to that, uh, we have the Daisy Dog. 
the Daisy Dog is an all beef foot long hot dog with house made chips. I'm gonna. Oh, that's not gonna happen. And there's no cutlery because everything's hand. Oh, I'm just gonna do it. The hot dog casing is way too chewy. Chewy or chewy? Chewy. And I thought they have a good gauge, right? We just reviewed those lunching pad Magic Kingdom hot dogs like a week ago. Those were cooked way better. This is this is a different. It's it's a thinner, longer link, and it's just so chewy. It's kind of like it almost tastes like an enlarged slim jim. It's like eating a really big and thick slim jim. Oh. Let's, I want to try the toppings. Like there's mac and cheese and chips and chili on here. In a park where waltz chili exists at Carnation, this is really subpar. It kind of tastes like the chili out of a can oh. kind of deal. Um, the mac and cheese is very basic. Again, feels like like what you microwave at home. Um, the chips kind of get lost in the shuffle. That the seasoning from them, that Parmesan, again, that same seasoning that was thrown on top of the foldovers is coming through for sure. The bun itself is is really nicely toasted. It's good, but I don't think as a whole the whole thing works. I think the, the hot dog's too chewy. The toppings are too basic. This is not a. I'm not going to recommend this. I don't think you should waste your time on it. Honestly, um, let's try a house made chip. Bowl. Those are great though. And the great thing about those is you can get them as a side. And not only can you get them as a side, but you can also get them as something, it's called something extra is the name of that category. And it's the Toontown Tater Chips. It's $7.49 and you get these chips with the chili cheese sauce. I will say on its own, the, sauce, the chips are good. You can get a side of just the chips for $4.49 and I, I think they're enjoyable. But let's try them with the chili. I like it better on the chips than I do on the hot dog. Maybe I think the hot dog is so busy that you, it kind of gets lost in the shuffle like the chips do on the hot dog. Um, I also don't completely understand why the chips are crushed up on the hot dog if you get the chips on the side with it. That's maybe too much of the same thing. Um, I would recommend a side of these and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be against recommending the chili. So again, it's pretty basic. It tastes like something you can make at home, but it's, it's a good iteration of like chili you can warm up at home from the grocery store. Um, it's a decent snack, but Disneyland snack game is so fantastic. The churros, uh, you know, the, the, the treats from the Candy Palace, the Tigger, you know, tails, all that kind of stuff that I don't, I don't know, even the popcorn from Galaxy's Edge um, are all things I would get before I got this. Thing. But if you're in Toontown and want a salty snack, the, the chips are worth the try. They're worth the try. All right, on the healthy side of things, there is a spring garden wrap. The spring garden wrap is marinated romaine with quinoa salad with creamy lemon dressing. It's $12.99. Is it vegan? I believe it is. It doesn't say that, but I, it should be. On the printed menu, I believe it, it says, says it's vegan. It says on the printed vegan. menu, okay. It's, this is big and heavy, by the way. This is... I see kale in there, giant, so... A I'm, giant, heavy portion. I'm excited. Plus you are, low. <laughs> Ruining the review. How dare... I'm joking. He thought I was serious, by the way. My, my reputation precedes me. Oh, sunflower seeds. I see sunflower seeds. Yum. Are they sunflower seeds? Or pine nuts. I think they're sunflower seeds. 
you should try them. Yeah? The pita's the only part I don't like. The pita's kind of, it's real dry and chalky and too thick, I think. Because you can see it's like wrapped around twice on the bottom. Mm -hmm. so there's too much pita, in fact. But the, in, the interior ingredients are all very good. It's very fresh. The dressing is perfect. Um, and actually, it, funny enough, it reminds me in some ways of my salad in Galaxy's Edge a little bit. With the quinoa in there, With the yeah. the quinoa salad, yeah. The, um, and edamame is in there. What is the name of that salad? I'm forgetting the name. It's the Andorian Tipia The Tipia salad. salad. That's probably not the full official name, but you get the idea. It reminds me of that, and I like that a lot. Um, it's a shame the peat is so bad, because I really like this. Yeah, the pita is very dry in like a flower kind of way where there's just so much flour on the exterior. It's not and soft. The dressing's not soaking into it. Right. But if you can't eat any of this, let's be brutally honest for a minute, as I always say. <laughs> the other stuff here is the opposite of healthy food. Folded over pizza, a foot long hot dog. This is honestly the best entree item I've had so far in the review. So, kudos to them on trying on this one. They did a good job. I would order it if we were back there. Yeah, it's not. I wish, I, I, I really am kind of just disappointed because if the pita was good, this would be a thing I would regularly get. I, I'm thoroughly sauced. All right, like good, like good kids, we've had our, we've had our uh, fill of, of, you know, our entrees. And it's time for something sweet. And it is Daisy's Goody Goody Donuts, which are house made mini donuts with cinnamon sugar. Uh, you get five of these for $5.99. So these are more than a dollar each. This background music. It's a hot dog dance song. Some of it's coming from here, and then there's an occasional trumpet from a different speaker down there. Fantastic. I love it. Very Toon Town. The, enough cannot be said for the background music in the There you hear it now. Probably drowning me out. Um, these are fine. They're, they're a little hard. It's they're very. Maybe not fresh out of the. They're, they're not fresh out of the fryer. They're fine. I will say this much. The food back here was always very basic, and so they've elevated basic a little bit, so it's certainly better than it was. It's still not a destination. This is not a place you're going to run to come have a snack or a, or a bite. This is... It, it fits the need that they've pinpointed, right? The need is families are going to come back here and hang out for several hours and what stuff they can pick up and grab and go and it hits the spot and it's good enough. That's what they went for and that's what they got. And so as long as you come in with those expectations, you'll find the, again, the drinks though, um, I think the consensus is that all three drinks were good and I think the coffee is great. So drinks, this is a, it's, it, I would come back to Cafe Daisy if anything, um, just for a drink. Okay, we have our picnic basket and our blanket down and we're ready to picnic now after our 800 items at Cafe Daisy. This is available at Good Boy Grocers, but you could also get it at Cafe Daisy with a kid's meal. The kid's meal, uh, if you want to add on to this, it's $19.99. They don't have the blanket. So the blanket you do have to go to Good Boy Grocers to get, which is not on mobile. It's not on mobile at Daisy either. So maybe someday it'll be on mobile order. It's not there yet. Um, so... Here's our picnic basket, and inside you'll find, you can pick all sorts of different stuff there. They have all these uh, iced bins, and you can pick out snacks. You get three snacks and a drink. Um, they had all sorts of options, goldfish. and um, So for drink, I just took a bottle of water. Um, and then we got our cuties, mandarin orange. got, of course, the Disney Parks classic, the Go-Go Squeeze, applesauce. And last but not least, uh, we have the uh, Nature Bakery Gluten-Free Fig Bar. But they have, again, 
tons of other stuff. There was goldfish crackers. There was uh, baby bell cheese. Um, dozens of other options. And for drinks, there were all sorts of different options, too. Um, juices and all other stuff. Um, so a big selection. And you can come have a little picnic here. Um, we brought some additional items. These are going to be in the store. These are in Engineer's Souvenirs. Um, they have some of the product that you'll find in the queue of Runaway Railway is now actually being sold. So Scrooge McDuck's milk chocolate coins, the golly pops, and of course what everyone's talking about, the standout with Power Limes, parody of Power Lime from a Goofy movie. Um, so these are pretty generic, it turns out. I thought the coins would be themed. They're not, um, which makes me sad. Also, this is not the packaging that this is in in the queue also makes me sad these are these are pretty legit the golly pops um the gorsh for goofy hot dog for um two mickey lines and oh boy these are just lollipops um i think we have to try the power lines though which i think is going to be like a taffy let's pop this over it looks like taffy <laughs> uh, here we go That is lime taffy. It's not bad. I like taffy. I was a big fan of the uh, the Bing Bong taffy over at DCA. There you go. That's all the food in Toontown. We've had it all. A perfect picnic. To conclude, uh, it's not really necessarily a specialty food item, but you can pick up. An El Capitoon Theater popcorn box. This is it's hard plastic. Uh, it's branded to the El Capitoon Theater. Again, more stuff that reflects the hue of railway. Uh, my favorite thing is there's a warning on the side that says uh, ingredients, popcorn, and some other stuff. Probably some salt in there. That's the best part. Has a yummy, yummy strap. This is great. This is my favorite thing. I think I like this more than the picnic basket on it. Just honestly, just because it's. I don't know, theme to the theater. It's super cool. So, again, Mickey's Toontown is back at Disneyland now. You can visit, a, not necessarily a food destination, but there's lots of other stuff that you can watch here on the channel. Um, you can watch walkthroughs of all the play areas, a ride through on the new Chippendale Gadget Coaster, uh, the return of Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin, and of course, we have the full ride of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, if you're curious about all that, but um, that does it for all the food and beverage you can enjoy. On the place where tunes live and play.